so uh, today we are going to be adding a new tax to the database, right? I'm so excited now because we are almost uh, at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so I will go to the Add Tax page, uh, which is this page, and we are still going to be using the same logic we used for the when we were signing in a new user, right? So, and that logic was to wrap this stuff with a gesture detector, sorry, a stream builder, sorry, and that stream builder now has a, we are also going to wrap it now with a consumer widget, like so, and it has the consumer widget, okay, it's actually listing and perform the changes, and then we can now import the ad tax provider as well, so th which is what we are listening to. And also our message. So what is happening here? We're still going to receive if the act tax or get response is not equal to empty string. We can also uh, show the message, maybe tax added or some error occurred or stuff like that. And then we can now clear the tax from here. Okay. So right here now, what we can do is very simple. And the status is no longer going to be false anymore. So okay, let me open that page so that we can actually see what is going on. So this status is no longer going to be false again because if it's loading, it's going to be changed to either true or false or stuff like that. Okay, so if we change it to true now, it's going to show the gray with the please wait uh, indicator. So in this case now, I'm going to use uh, add tax dot uh, get status. Okay, like so, and then the context remains the same. And then what we are going to do now is to actually change. Okay, we are not really changing anything. So what I'm going to do now is to check if the title is empty or not. So if uh, if the title dot test dot is empty, so we don't want to do anything. I'm just going to show a message to the user telling them, hey, fill in the title field, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what we're going to do. So we just say fill in title, okay? Like so. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, they will fill in their title if the test is empty. Then if the test is not empty, then we can just carry out our activity here. So that means the activity we are actually carrying out here is for them to add their tags. So we'll say add tax dot add tax. So this add tax, this second one is actually coming from uh, the add tax provider class uh, is a function inside the method actually so a function <laughs> okay so we're going to pass tax dot uh, test remember i actually like calling trim uh, that reason is just to uh, remove any test before and after it okay so and uh, we need to pass one thing anything no nothing because we have already gotten the let's go back here we have already gotten the token and the user id so we should get a successful response if everything goes well so let's click on it. We're going to get fill in title. Okay. Okay. Uh, because this thing is like this, I don't think we're going to get any response. So, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do a hot restart first. Now from here, we are going to be adding our first to do. Okay, we'll be adding our first to do now because we have already implemented each of this logic. Okay. So. Uh, add tax page. Uh, we have add tax to do. Okay, so let's see what we have when if I add my first to do. Okay, and let's save it. You can see it has changed to please wait. Then you should see a snack bar if everything is successful. Tax created successfully, and you can see the message, and which is success message tax created successfully. This is our tax ID. And this is our user ID and the reminder period and every other thing has been printed. So we can add another one. So we can say two. Okay. Let's say two. Yeah. This tax is overlapping with my first today. Please pick another one. Okay. I guess this tax is overlapping with my first to do. Please pick another one. What does it mean? Okay, let's see. same response so i think the reason why we are getting that response is because uh from what he said i don't know why the message is not really clear but from what he said he said the start time should not be the same okay so for that reason we will have to change this other start time to something different okay 
So we have to change our start time to something different for so that we'll be able to add another to do. So I just change the time now. And let's add it to see. You can see this tax is developing with my first to do. Okay, so what I think we need to change the start time to the end time. I think it's kind of a, 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 an issue from this end. Uh, this issue is actually from the API, so you don't have to worry about anything. So it's actually from the API, so uh, don't worry, everything will be cool. Uh, I think it's not supposed to because you can decide to add two to do two tasks at the same time, starting the same time. Maybe you want to multi-tax and stuff like that, okay? But let's add another one. This one now will be added. Tax created successfully. So you have to change the start time and the, the end time to be different so that they won't overlap for it to work. All right. So now we have successfully added a new to do into our app, and that is cool. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is to fetch each of those to dos that we just added. Okay. So we're going to display them here. It's going to be two to do basically. So we're going to display them here, and then yeah, you see how to use model class, and we are going to utilize this uh, this folder to use model class then after that we're going to see how to delete the to do and then we call this a wrap all right see you guys in the next video